Good afternoon, or evening, or morning, wherever you might be. I've been set a little bit of a task by one of our regular customers who sent us this pair of Aaron Williams chinchilla, believe it or not. That is a chinchilla. It might look from there like a chestnut, comfort craftsman, but it's definitely a chinchilla. Um, leather soles fitted originally. We've had the soles replaced with the yeah, same yeah, rubber yeah, sole and heel yeah, as fitted to the Comfort Craftsman. Why? Because that sole will last three or four times longer than any leather sole. I'm fairly confident of that. But look at the colour. And the colour of the chinchilla originally, you can see just there, Michelle, it's much lighter. And of course, with the black tout toe and the heavily burnishing and the black on the heel. So whatever these have been polished with for however long i have no idea the leather is actually very dry um but i'm going to try and strip away whatever's on there by way of color and polish take it all away and start again and try to get it back closer to the original color and make it once again a pretty boot a beautiful boot even although i'm sure looking at the condition of these uppers they're probably a bit of a work boot for our customer now how am i going to clean this off i'm going to use safia branded products because i love them and this product here renomat which is a mild solvent mixed with a conditioner what am i going to use for this first by the way i've done it with this shoe trees in shoe trees so that i've got something to work against when i'm actually working on this boot i can put a bit of pressure on straighten the boot up take the creases out so i can clean out of those creases and polish into those creases and i'm going to use one of these little dishwasher sponges with a scouring pad on now i think somebody commented on one of my previous videos that you should never use this on one of these boots because it'll damage the leather and scratch the upper I beg to differ because within 20, 30 seconds of using this, that nylon mesh will go very, very soft. So I'm actually just using it for the first 20 or 30 seconds, very, very lightly to spread this liquid Renomat around the upper of the boot. And I can hear it. I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it it's already starting to soften up so i'm going to go over both boots get this really nice and soft and then i can put a little bit more pressure on and that scouring effect will remove polishes dirt and staining that will come off it'll take it away so i've got quite a bit of work to do on these so i'm going to make this video in four or five different takes and then we'll see if we can stitch it together and i hope fingers crossed that we're going to get a reasonable at least result by the time we're finished we'll see you soon so looking a little bit in fact looking a lot different to how they were before there was a lot of polish and god knows what else on this bordeaux chinchilla rm williams and i've cleaned it all of those those little sponges, remember, that's why I use soft as silk. Um, I've used, I think, 10 of those. Look at the state. That's how much polish and polish residues were on this boot before I started. Now, when you guys are polishing, cleaning and polishing your shoes, most people would just polish the shoes. They get dirty, they polish them again, they get dirty, they polish and you keep going. All you're doing is building layer on top of layer on top of layer on top of layer of polish. And sometimes bits of dust, bits of dirt, you're polishing that into the leather as well. You're going over the top of it. So it's important to remember, if you want to take best care of this leather long term, you need to take that polish off just occasionally, now and again, take away all those polish residues, those layers of polish that you've built up over time, take them away, get back to the base leather, nourish it, condition it, moisturize it, get some color back into it, and your shoes are gonna be so much better for so much longer. Now, cleaned, you can see how much color we've taken off there. And of course, remember when these boots are made, these are made from a natural crust leather, so there's no color in it. All these polishes and colours or finished colours are put into there by the hand painting, burnishing and polishing process. So 
Having taken all the colour off that I wanted and the polish residues, I'm now going to put, remember, this is heavily burnished. I can't actually show you a brand new Bordeaux because I don't have any in stock and there isn't a single pair in stock in the UK warehouse, otherwise I'd have bought some in for our stock. So, I'll show you the cognac. That's the cognac colour chinchilla and you can see the darker burnishing on the toe and the lighter colour and the rest of the boot, a little bit of dark burnishing around the heel. They would use brown, I would use brown to restore that burnished finish. On these, because it's a darker brown colour boot anyway, I'm going to use black underneath the creams and polishes. Black on the toe and the heel counter just to get that burnished finish. And I use, I'm using Safia dye because we love Safia products. Safia are not paying me for this, by the way. Send us some free products if you like. Anyway, I use a little makeup brush. A makeup brush because they're very fine bristles and very soft bristles and the tiniest amount on there and you'll notice I've put a little bit of masking tape just around the welt edge so I don't have to be so careful when I'm applying this bit of dye and this is just regular black leather shoe dye tiny 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 bit because I can always put more on I can't take it off so easily so I'm just going very slowly and putting a tiny bit at a time on each time, small circles, and just blend it out, condense it right at the front of the toe, and then blend it out towards the vamp of the boot. And occasionally you can even just, when you've got that on there, just use a little bit of cloth or tissue in this case, and just work that in as well. Rub it around to smooth it out a little bit more. I'm going to put quite a bit more on this. And I'll show you in a minute the result that we are trying, wanting to achieve before we go to the colouring process of the rest of the boot. A little bit and the same, same process right on the heel counter, right at the back of the heel counter, both sides. Go round and round and round because that's virtually the same as it's done at the factory or this kind of end result will be similar to what they, they do at the factory so that's how I apply this and this is the other boot that I did a few minutes ago that you've not seen until now that black condensed on the toe and on the heel both sides and that's now ready I'm actually before I start putting the colour back into this and to put the colour back into this boot I think all I'm going to use is dark brown sapphire shoe cream but I'll show you that when I start to apply it but before then I'm going to apply some renovator some renovator which is a soft cream already you remember at the first part of this video that leather was very dry this leather now, because of the Renomat and the conditioning lotion that's mixed with that solvent, that leather is already much softer and much more supple than it was before we started. So, I'm going to employ, uh, uh, apply some Renovator first. It's neutral in colour, so no colouring at all. And the Renovator also apparently, so I'm told by our rep for Safia, opens up the pores of the leather. So when I apply that shoe cream with the colouring, it's going to take the colour on much better and we're going to end up, fingers crossed, hopefully, with a chinchilla in Bordeaux that looks like it's been loved and lived in and loved some more. Not quite like when we first received them. We'll see you in a short while. OK, back again. I've left these overnight to let that dye properly dry on the toe cap there. Toe cap, there's no toe cap, it's a whole cup. On the toe there and the heel counter. So that's perfectly dry, left overnight. I thought, as I mentioned earlier, I was going to use a dark brown shoe cream on this. Now remember, there is more colour pigment in a cream than there is in a wax. So if you're wanting to recolour or restore colour or enhance a colour on a shoe, 
there is more color you'll put more color in if you use a shoe cream as i do um dark brown though would have been too dark on these so on this particular color because i managed to get so much of that old polish and old dark color out of it i'm going with a medium brown by sapphire again of course number 37 medium brown i've discovered is very good for bordeaux chinchilla and it's literally a case of the whole boot i'm going over the whole boot this way small circles and you can see straight away that we're getting color into there i am by the way going to go over the black that i've applied as well on the toe and the heel i'm going to go over the whole boot and then eventually on the whole boot when this is finished I'm going to go over with a brown wax, a dark brown wax over the whole boot and some black wax just on the toe and the heel for the final polishing. And as they say, here is one I prepared earlier. This is the other foot. Remember how it looked at the beginning? I have no idea what kind of polishers and finishers were on there, but I managed to get all of that off. It took a lot of doing, a lot of cleaning. Got it all off, got the deep brown rich colour back into it, got the leather nourished, conditioned, moisturised. It feels gorgeous now. And that darker burnishing, that black burnishing on the toe and the heel. I was quite surprised too that the leather heel stack and the leather welt, I managed to get a lot of that colour and staining out of that and get it back to a lighter brown. So I've used a medium brown cream on that welt and heel stack too. So that's one finished. I'm going to carry on working on this now and I'll show you. I'll probably come back to you actually when I've buffed this with a soft brush and then the final buffing and polishing will be with the wax and with the flat of my hand. We'll be back shortly. So, just about finished finishing with black wax over the toe and the heel counter and everything is applied with one finger a finger cloth having a little strip of cloth wrapped around one finger in your hand leaves your hands free to work with and also when that polish is applied and it starts to drag underneath the finger then you switch to the flat of the hand for the buffing the polishing and that's how I achieve that finish on that pair of boots. Now, remember how these looked at the beginning of this video and how they look now. Shoe trees out. They're not a new boot, they're an older boot. They've almost certainly been worn for work. I have no idea what kind of polishers and things have been used on them previously, but look how they've come back they've got creases they've got one or two scratches and scars and some little pop marks here and there but that's just character we call that character that's a boot that's been lived in and actually looks back like it's been loved now so to achieve that from where they were first thing remember you have to take everything off all of them polished residues that build up any dirt and staining take it away and i did that with renomat that's a mild solvent mixed with a, a conditioner. I applied it with one of those little sponges incredibly lightly for the first 20 or 30 seconds until that nylon gets super soft. And then it's just like a little very fine mesh that scrapes, scratches away all them polished residues. Over um, the, the toe cap for the black burnishing and the heels on those, I applied black dye with a makeup brush of all things and a little bit of cloth or tissue just to blend it out um, brushes are used in between just for a, a quick wipe over and then for the color in the to restore the color in the main 
body of the boot, I used medium brown, sapphire. For the sole edges, remember, I got a lot of that dirt and staining and polishes out of that leather heel stack and the sole edge, the welt rather, and I put colour back in with hazelnut brown. Sapphire, medium brown, hazelnut or noisette. And then dark brown wax over the whole boot. The whole boot, dark brown wax. And then finishing, of course, with black wax on the toe and the heel. I think, I hope, my customer, when he gets these back, is going to be very happy with them. Um, do I want loads of you guys to send me all your chinchilla boots now to, to try and get back something like this? No, not really, because it took me an awful long time to do these. And um, if you were actually paying me for my time, you probably wouldn't want them doing it. You'd do myself. But that's what I used. If you want any information, I hope you've enjoyed this video, by the way. And if you want any information about RM Williams, of course, we stock RM Williams. We're a stockist of theirs here in the UK. And um, if you want any information on the product or how to best look after the product, there's lots of people on these groups and forums said previously, chinchilla, cognac, or Bordeaux or any other colour, these seasonal colours they occasionally bring. Don't use anything but neutral, neutral, neutral. Actually, that's fine until you get a scuff, a scratch, or you want to put a bit of colour back in and then you need to use the right colours. So on Bordeaux, this is what I've used and I think the result is pretty good. Thanks for watching. Share this video, give us a thumbs up if you like it, feel free to comment and um, we'll see you soon for another video of, I don't know, something, somewhere, somehow.